it's Viviana and today it's another wash day and for today's wash day I'll be using Carly Bell products if that name sounds a little familiar on this channel that's because I already did a wash and style with the Carly Bell products before all right so here what happened after I posted that video right I was then contacted by the Curly Bell team and I was asked to basically give the products a second chance. So what they highlighted to me was, since I already had stated in the video that the shampoo never really cleaned my hair so well, and it felt as if I still had product buildup in my hair, which I definitely did, that took bad start with that shampoo could have possibly, you know, hindered their products from working very well in my hair. So, they have sent me over some more of their products for me to give them another chance. I mean, that's a fair enough request. And if you think that just because Curly Bell sponsored this video, I am going to sugarcoat my thoughts and my opinion on these products, I'm insulted. Thank you again Curly Bell for sponsoring this video. Wash and style with Curly Bell part 2. So they sent over their Curly Bell almond and shea butter moisturizing shampoo. I'm nervous guys. I honestly am nervous. <laughs> So if you're not new to my channel, then you already know that I don't really have a good relationship with shampoos. They tend to leave my hair dry, brittle, and straw-like feeling. Okay, um, let's not jump to any conclusions, but so far, this is kind of impressive. The lava feels moisturizing. Wow. <laughs> I don't want to say too soon, but I think this is on the top three best shampoos I've ever used. I shouldn't want to say it's the best shampoo I've used thus far, but I feel like it's too soon to say that because it's my first time trying it. But in terms of the smell, how easy it is to lather and how easy it is to rinse out, and not to mention how my hair feels after. Yeah, my. This bad. Oh, if you're not Jamaican, in this context, when I say it bad, it actually means it good. the shampoo I'm going to be using their deep conditioner the banana nut and avocado deep treatment already used this before in the last video yep smelling like a banana nut pudding yeah I'm remembering how it felt the last time I'm going to detangle with it now this is always the stage I detangle my hair so a good deep conditioner for me is one that gives my hair a lot of sleep so I can detangle and it will also have my hair feeling good when I don't rinse it out. Now, usually when I'm detangling my hair, I would separate my hair into four and apply my deep conditioner. And with each quadrant, I will then separate it into two and detangle my hair thoroughly. But because I'm not getting the sleep I need from this deep conditioner to work in such large sections, I'm now forced to separate my hair into more sections. So, yeah, which means more time and energy and a longer wash day. <laughs> And the thing is, maybe if I use more of the product, I will get more sleep. But because it's such a small container and such an expensive product, I really am trying to use as little product as possible. So 
And know for a fact that it's not everybody need a lot of sleep in the deep conditioner like I do because it's not everybody use the deep conditioning session to detangle their hair. So with that in mind, let me wrap my hair up with my saran wrap, sit under my dryer for about an hour, and then let me see how my hair feels afterwards. My hair kind of feel heavy too. I don't know if it's just because my hair getting longer, but my hair feel heavy. It's a nice deep conditioner. So now I'm at the stage to add my leave-in conditioner and I'm going to be using their Thirsty Curls leave-in conditioner. So I was basically told that the last time I used this leave-in conditioner, I may have added just a little too much product. So I'm going to try this time around to use less product. Oh, and I just saw on the leave-in conditioner that it says detangle, provide slip, moisturize. So, I'm guessing that the company intended for their leave-in conditioner to really be their slip giver and detangler, not their deep conditioner. Make you follow me and be my only so make you go down, go down. My hair is definitely feeling moisturized. And now it's time to style. Mm -hmm. So here's the vision. So I want to corner one side of my head. I choose this side because, you know, this is the well-behaved eyebrow. So when I'm taking pictures and stuff, I want the accentuated part of the hairstyle to match up with my good eyebrow. Yeah. <laughs> So to start off this hairstyle, I am going to separate the section of hair that I'm going to corner. I'm trying not to bring it too low because if I do the corner too small, then the hair that I'm going to do the twist out to won't stay over to one side of my head. You know what I mean? So I have to find a nice sweet spot so that the hair can comfortably, you know, fall. By the way, I'm using my applicator brush to part my hair because I can't find my rat tail comb. So we're improvising and it's working well so far. <laughs> Alright, so I've separated my section and now I'm going to moisturize my hair with the curl defining cream. It does say on the jar, moisturizes, defreezes and defines. So, take a little of that. So that curl defining cream was kind of just sitting on top of my hair and I really need my hair to be moisturized. So I'm going to go back to the leave-in conditioner to actually moisturize my hair and hopefully this does the trick. That's better. Gonna do one big chunk hit cornrow Ooh, no it's nothing big it's nothing big really I just came up with the idea that um, I want to do a tiny cornrow and then introduce it into the larger cornrow I see styles like that going around and I think it would be cute right I think this will add a little edgier touch to the style. And now I'm going to go back to doing the large corn roll. Young Betsy. Young Betsy. So right now I'm getting more of a granny doodle plot kind of vibe than a edgy kind of vibe. But let's leave it for now and see how it turns out at the end. Don't judge too early. 
So I am going to be twisting up my hair with the curl defining cream and hopefully it gives me a good twist out. I mean, it could just be that the product needs a little time to penetrate my low porosity hair. a nice touch to the style. Listen, I just imagined it and in my head, I think it's gonna be a really neat style. So yeah, I'm going to add one more small corner roll. I can't wait for this to dry. So the last product I haven't used as yet is the Curly Tropical Oil Blends and um, if you're not new here then you know I don't usually use oils in my hair but I mean I have it <laughs> so I'll just use a couple drops just to add some shine to my twist and yeah it should have hurt yeah that's enough look at the definition Curly Bell! Yes! They are not dry at all. And I didn't even moisturize my twist last night. So I'm absolutely in love with how this hairstyle turned out. And of course, I have to give Curly Bell its credit for the success of this twist out. Okay. I would thumbs up my own video because of how bomb this hairstyle look. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that though. That's weird. But you thumbs it up though. If you're new to my channel, be sure to check out the iCards where I'll have more video posted so you can watch more of my videos and get more familiar with my channel and what we do around here. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe. Or, if this is the first video of mine you've ever watched and you're already in love, be sure to subscribe. Okay, beauties? Later. Mwah. I think it's about time I try a braid out though. What do you guys think? <laughs> now, I was keeping up with that regimen of using bentonite clay every single week for six months straight. And when I say my hair was softness perfection, curls popping, I am kind of really, really loving this blonde look right now. But the original plan was for a burgundy, reddish, purplish color.